Hey guys, and welcome to a little bit of a different video today. The reason that I have my makeup all done is because I'm going to be trying on some clothes, slash kind of sort of a costume, but hopefully not too much. We'll see. I have ordered three pieces from ThreadUp that I think would make a really cute vintage pirate core outfit together. I have been wanting to try vintage core or pirate core ever since I kind of saw that it was a thing, but I'm not completely sure like the best way to go about incorporating it in my everyday wardrobe because it can be hard when you're first starting out to like not have everything look like a costume or at least like to have it feel that way, so I've heard. So I'm not really sure how this will turn out, if it will look too much like a costume, if it will look like something I could wear every day. I mean, she was, I don't even know if any of these things are gonna fit, but I just thought, why not, since it's on ThreadUp and it's affordable, why not just put an outfit together and see how you like it? Today's video is not sponsored by ThreadUp, however, whoops, they did give me a referral code, so if you sign up for ThreadUp using the link down below, you will get $10 to spend however you like on the platform, and I also get $10 to spend on my end, so that's fun. I like to see whenever websites and companies are getting creative with their referral programs, because the whole commissions thing is just kind of messed sometimes. I thought that was really fun, so if you're interested in ThreadUp, do click the link down below, because you'll get a little something some, and I'll get a little something some, so that's real fun. So, the first thing that I ordered, well, I'm not sure which is in which package. I ordered a skirt, I ordered a vest, and I ordered a shirt. And the idea is that it'll be piratey enough to call Pirate Core, especially if I wear my hat with it that I made, which I'll go get here in a minute, but everyday enough to where like I could actually wear it. The other thing is, a couple of these items are wool, and I don't know for sure if I will like wool, but since one of them was like only $8 and the other was 12 I thought this would be a good way to t test it out because it wouldn't be any cheaper just to make myself a wool skirt because wool fabric is expensive, so why not just buy a wool skirt for 8 bucks and see how I like it, you know? So I'm going to try to guess which thing is in which one of these baggies. I ordered two of them at the same time. The two that I ordered first, one ended up coming by itself and then the other one and then the one I ordered last ended up coming together, so I'm not sure what's up with that. I think, I don't know, because one of them is in a white package. I think this might be the skirt. It feels pretty bulky. This might be the shirt. I'm pretty sure this is the vest. So we're going to start with the vest. I need some scissors. Oh wait, no, this works right here. It's got a little holster. I've never ordered clothes online before. Ah, tissue paper to heighten the suspense. Yep, I was right. This is the best. Oh my gosh. It's actually, like, they called it a tuxedo vest. It's really cute. Like, this is vibes. It's got this little thing in the back. I'm not sure if that adjusts, but if it does, bonus points, because I love whenever my jacket cinch a little in the back. I don't think it adjusts, but that's okay. And this is Gap. And I got this, I want to say, for about $13. Like, whoa good deal for what this is. I mean, this is, on the outside, it's wool. It is lined, so that'll be nice. Obviously, I'll be wearing a shirt under it, but I still am not sure that I'll like the feeling of wool against my skin, so that would be awesome. I just, like, I can picture this with, like, so many outfits. It looks a little big for me. We'll see. But yeah, that's, that's cute. I like that a lot. Uh, and then, I'm going to guess this is the skirt. I keep forgetting I don't need the scissors. Plus then I don't have to risk accidentally cutting the clothes because that would be just... Guess I did! I guess right on all of them! Woohoo! Oh, this is lightweight. Oh, I like this. Oh, I thought it was going to be heavy. It's plaid, and it is super lightweight. Like, I bet I could wear this in the summer. It's lined. Oh my golly. I didn't know it was lined. And it's not scratchy. I think it's a wool blend, 
but it's like not a bulky wool. It's super soft. Okay, so it's 95% wool, 4% spandex on the outside, and then 1% something else. I'm hoping that I don't, like, that this isn't too small. But I think just by looking at it, it'll be good. Uh, but that's that. So I'm kind of hoping that, like, the black in the vest will look good with the skirt. I'm already getting, like, librarian vibes from that. And then the last thing, and this is the thing that really makes it look pirate. I actually ordered this the next time I got paid because I didn't have enough money and I didn't want to just spend it out of my checking account. Even though I had money there, I wanted to be responsible and wait. Of course, then I was bummed because the coupon I'd used for the first one only worked for one time and I couldn't use it again. But, oh well, it was only like ten other dollars. Oh wait, this isn't that. <sighs> this is something else. I didn't realize this was going to have my name on it. Oh, this is actually school gear. <laughs> so my other thread up thing hasn't come yet. Oh, that's funny. I was like, why are the other two in green bags and this one's not? This is actually uh, shirts for the school I'm going to go to. I that was just so perplexed. But anyway, I guess I still have to wait for the shirt to get here. So I will come back when I have the shirt so I can show you all of it together and show you what the shirt looks like. So. I guess now I just have my makeup done. I guess I can see if it will be here soon, but I'm doubting that the shirt will be here since I ordered it on Monday or Tuesday and it's Thursday and these things take a while to ship, so bummer. But that's funny, I forgot that these were coming. Okay, the time has come. The last package is finally here. This is the shirt. I actually got this a few days ago, but I didn't have time to try on the whole outfit. So I waited. So. Oh, it's very off-white. I hope that looks good on me. They sent me a little booklet. I didn't do that last time. Cool. Probably something that I will have recycling, but oh well. It's nice. It's cute. Oh wow, it's very sheer. So this is the shirt, and the reason that I bought it for this outfit is because it has this ruffle, and I was thinking it might mimic uh, let me see if I pronounce this right. Cravat? The ruffly thing that they would wear at the front of their shirts. It looked a lot brighter white on the website, but hopefully it'll still work. And if it's too see-through, even when I'm wearing the vest with it, I can try wearing it with a shirt under it. We'll see. I know this is not the only kind of shirt out there that has this ruffly part, so if it doesn't end up working, I can try to find something else to wear it with. But I think it will look cute with the color of the skirt. Let's see. So this is the vest. Yeah, the black will definitely look nice with that. And then actually, I think it will look really nice with the skirt because the skirt has some cream kind of highlights in it. I know they look cute together. I just don't know if I can pull off wearing that much of an off-white, but we shall see. Time to change my earrings. Well, I was gonna wear gold hoops with this just to emphasize the pirate effect. But I'm wondering if silver would look better because it's kind of a cool cream color. I'm just going to wear my gold jewelry because that's what I was planning on doing. I'm going to go change my jewelry so the ensemble will all go together. And then let's lay these up here nicely, not all wadded up. Then I'm going to try them on for the first time with you guys. So here we go. Oh golly. This is actually pretty stinking cute. I think it might be just the right color of cream. And I actually like how with these buttonholes, there's like a little flap that runs on each side over where the buttons are to like hide it. Oh, and I just realized that there's like cuffs. I probably already knew that, but I rediscovered it and that's just gonna send this whole like trying to go for like a vintage librarian in the 1700s vibe even better. Am I wearing this inside out? No. I don't think these cuffs were designed to roll up, but I have short arms, so I'm going to roll them up. Plus it kind of creates a frilly look. I mean, that just looks funny, so we are going to roll them up. And it kind of mimics the look that the uh, coats from the 18th century have. It doesn't really roll up very easily. I think I might have buttoned this the wrong way. No? Nope. There we go. Yeah, I think rolled up is the way to go on this one. Because I have short arms, so we roll it up. 
But actually, okay, I just better be the other side before I... I have a mirror right here, and I just, I want to look at myself in the mirror. It's so cute. And it, I think it actually fits perfectly. This is my first time buying clothes online by myself. Uh, normally, I've had my grandma or my mom to help me, and I just kind of had to rely on the sizing charts and uh, my measurements. And something else I do is, if I'm not completely sure... How I want something to fit, I will go and measure one of my favorite t-shirts that I know fits in my most difficult to fit area <laughs> uh, and measure that and that helps me a lot when I'm doing online shopping. I Well, I guess I have done some online shopping. I put some things like on my wish list. I'm not going to leave it unbuttoned because it kind of shows off my necklace. I think I got all the buttons. Did I get all the buttons? Um, no, I got them. Yeah. There. So, here's this one. Man, the sun just went behind a cloud, so now it's going to be not as nice of lighting, but oh well. It's actually not terribly sheer, but it's super cute. I love this plaid. This is like totally a winter vibe for me. I would, I could probably wear this in the summer if I wanted to because it's so lightweight and it's 100% cotton. I love cotton. So this is, this is honestly just super cute on its own. I could probably wear this to work in the winter time if I wanted to. It's so cute. I love it with the, the necklace. I, I, I don't really wear much jewelry, but I have these kind of gold short necklaces and I have a couple like chokers, one of which I made and you've probably seen on my different videos that's an anchor. I like to wear those with like my tops because they will hit like right above my neckline and I just think it's really flattering and really cute. I've tried wearing like the long necklaces, but they never flatter me. So, but yeah, this is this. Now it's time for the skirt. Come on, son. I need you to come back so that you can light my video. Oh, this skirt has pockets. Had to take off my shorts. Didn't figure you would wish for me to do that on camera. Oh my gosh. The skirt. Okay, hold on just a second. I gotta figure out where the waist is supposed to hit at. This skirt is Banana Republic, and I believe I paid about $8 for it. And it's wool, and it's wine. I think it zips up. You know what? On second thought, I was probably supposed to zip it before I buttoned it, just like you would on a pair of jeans. Zip it up, hide the shirt. Honestly, this is kind of cute on its own, but I feel like I actually liked this shirt better untucked, which is saying something because I always prefer my my shirt tucked. I think I missed a button. Yes, I sure did. And of course, it's the one on the bottom, which harder. There. That is really cute. Let me go get a belt, just so I can see if I like it without the vest. I feel like this definitely has a vintage vibe already, but it's like not costumey. Like I could wear this to work. Oh my gosh, guys. Is that as tight as my belt goes? See, since I'm not wearing bulky jeans, my belt can go tighter. Yeah, I would definitely want to wear my belt a little tighter, but let me back up so you can see it a little better. That is really cute on its own. I'm not as much of a fan of it as I was actually with the shorts, but the shorts didn't really go. So yeah, this belt doesn't work. I'd need a different belt, but I can just picture myself as a librarian in this. Hold on. I need a book. I need a prop. My lovely edition of Pride and Prejudice. This is bright green and does not go with this outfit, but. Good evening, child. Can I help you find something particular today? Are you into the classics? Perhaps Robinson Crusoe or Treasure Island? Are you more of the fairy tale type? I could set you up with one of those. Or can I recommend my favorite classic book? Actually, it's my second favorite because, in my personal opinion, Sense and Sensibility was better. Beautiful Pride and Prejudice book that would definitely not be in a library because this cover would be torn up in about five minutes. <sighs> I can just totally see it. Like, gee whiz. If I ever worked the book department in the store that I work at, this would be so stinking cute. Especially if I like put my hair up in like a low bun. Oh my gosh, I'm getting serious little women vibes right now. Ah, this is like 19th century vibes for some reason. I don't know why this is 19th century vibes, but to me it is. Yeah, that's cute. But now we gotta send it up a notch. We're gonna go get the vest. This is the one that I am most concerned about whether or not it's going to fit because it looks a little big. I'm so excited for this. This is my first, like, real vest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, yes. It's coming together. It might be just a little big. 
I think I just need to take it up in the shoulders a little bit and maybe just bring in the back just a wee bit. It's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, definitely would need to bring it back. There's a little band here in the back and I could just bring that in and hand sew that strip to hold this a little bit tighter. But this actually, I was really afraid that this cut was gonna be really weird. It's actually kind of cute. Let me grab a pin. I'm not gonna. The back part is not wool, and I don't wanna hit that because I have a feeling that whatever it is, it would not go over well being punctured. But yeah, just a little uppity here. I need the hat. I need the hat. Hold on. This is so, just exactly how I pictured this. I can't see myself. I gotta look in the mirror. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's cute. It's very much like the businesswoman lady pirate vibes. Like, this is not something you would be battling the British Navy in. Uh, this would be more like you're going into town to do business kind of thing. I could definitely play this as uh, 19th century vintage as well. This is a very schoolboy vibe, I think, with this vest, this like tuxedo vest. It's actually not that hot. It's very warm in our room right now, so it feels pretty warm, but because the shirt is so lightweight, this is actually quite comfortable, and the skirt is lightweight as well, so. I wonder, like, if I wore this in public, would it be, like, really weird? Because I feel like this, is more the vibe that like I get from the outfits of the people who like wear vintage clothing in public. Like this is more like what they wear when they want full on vintage. Sorry, I'm holding it together in the back just because it needs some help. When they want like full on vintage, but like not like a costume. I almost like it better without the hat, which is saying something because I think everything looks good with the trigger hat. But yeah. I don't have a cutlass or I would get one out, but yeah, I love this outfit. The skirt is a 10 out of 10. It fits perfectly, it's lightweight, it's beautiful. The vest is probably a 6 out of 10. It's not perfect, and I need to make some alterations, but it's really, really cute. And I mean, for 12 bucks, I mean, I'm gonna make it work. And the shirt, like, this ruffly part just really sends home the vintage look. And it's so lightweight and comfy. It needs to be ironed. But, you know, we can do that. But yeah, I guess I'll just do a few twirls for you now. Welcome aboard my ship, lass. What's your certification? Able seaman, surgeon, cabin girl. For some reason, I, I've started assigning characters to my different outfits. Um, this, I picture very much as a very, what's the word, disciplined. That's the word I'm looking for. This character, I see as very disciplined. And I still kind of like it better without that. But this seems like a very disciplined character to me. My cabin girl outfit, as I like to call it, the blue one, the blue skirt with the black little vest. You've seen it in my reels on Instagram. I see her as like a younger, maybe like 15 year old, who doesn't really know anything about sailing and is just trying to like get into it because she loves adventure. I feel like they all represent different like ways I picture myself on a ship. Like I could picture myself as like serious if I had to be, but really I probably be more like the cabin girl, just trying to like figure it out and having a great time, but yeah. This is really cute. I'm so glad I bought this. So I can't remember exactly how much off the top of my head all this was, including shipping, but I'll put the numbers up on the screen. So this is how much I spent for the shirt. This is how much I spent for the vest, and this is how much I spent on the sh skirt. So, when you added shipping, all that together was this. But then I had $10 of PayPal credit, so I was able to only spend this much. Now that's still, you know, quite a bit of money, and I actually bought a couple of the items first, and then waited until I got paid again, and I had a little more spending money, and then I bought the shirt. 
So overall, I think this is worth the money. Even though I have to make alterations to this vest, I'm going to keep it because it's not very often that you find a, I can't remember what brand this is. I think it was like Gap or Calvin Klein. I don't remember. It was a very fancy schmancy brand. I mean, or at least in my mind, I don't know if that's like one of the really, really fancy ones, but that's not a cheap brand. And to find something like this wool for 12 bucks from one of those brands, I mean, I'm not going to come across that again in my life, so I'm just going to keep it. And honestly, I'm really tempted to go put my hair in a bun right now. I'm going to put a little side bun. I will be right back. And with the bun. I'm so in love with this. It's so stinking cute. I'm not quite sure where the best place to take it up will be, but yeah, this outfit is so stinking cute. If you want to try thread up, which if you're interested in how I found these things, I just searched in thread up for like white button up shirt or like, you know, black vest or wool skirt. And I looked through the different choices and you know, these are what I found. If you want to try thread up, uh, you can use my link down below. It's not like an affiliate link, but it is a referral link. So if you sign up for ThreadUp using my link below, you will get $10 to spend however you like on the platform, and I get $10 to spend on ThreadUp as well. So, wow, yeah, I am definitely looking forward to using ThreadUp again in the future. This is just awesome. <laughs> I love this outfit so much, and it was honestly quite easy to use. And I actually found some coupon codes as well that made it even more affordable and was part of the reason that I was able to spend so little money was because I found coupon codes from like other YouTubers and stuff as well. But yeah, this is super cute. If you are interested in seeing like more videos about my different like piratey costume stuff, like if you'd just be interested in like a get ready with me in some of my different outfits or just even like a lookbook video, because I have a couple of other outfits and I'm currently working on creating a couple more. And if you wanted to just like see a video where I just show you all of my pirate core outfits, let me know down in the comments because I don't normally do videos like this. They don't usually perform very well, but I just couldn't resist showing you guys this outfit because this is pretty stinking cute. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Stick around for more of my storytelling adventures and stay safe. Stay healthy, and I'm trying to think of something else to put there. Have a great rest of your week. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Arr. Now to go show my mom what it looks like with the pirate hat. I wonder if I could wear the pirate hat with the bun. Hmm, that's a possibility. I'm gonna video some reels, cause this is really stinking cute.